Well, Frankie, welcome to Peterborough United. It's a Saturday morning. Obviously, a deal was done uh, late last night. I guess it's just a case of getting it done now and, and looking forward to Monday. Yeah, I can't wait to get started um, in Monday. Obviously, the deal's done and uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to getting going. Yeah, what was it about Peterborough that was attractive to you? Uh, well, I met the manager on, on Wednesday um, and yeah, he just expressed how he, how he wants the team to play and how he wants me to play in the team. And, um, and yeah, it's a good club. And uh, yeah, I'm just, like I said, I just can't wait for, for Monday and getting going. Because it's obviously the next chapter in your career, it's important to think about it. It's not something you rush into. I guess once speaking to, to your family and everybody connected with yourself, it was a, a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I took a couple of days to talk to mum, dad, brother and that. And um, and yeah, just weigh up all the options. But yeah, as soon as I knew the um, the interest was there and, and uh, spoke to the gaffer and that, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was, it was more or less done. Yeah, and when, when clubs obviously are making bids for you and obviously you know there's going to be other clubs interested, I guess um, it's about getting your head straight in terms of where you see your progression as a player. Exactly, yeah, that's right. And that's the, that's the things that we spoke about, me and my family, agents and, and stuff like that, um, to make sure this is the right place for me to to keep playing and, and progressing and to get better. And uh, I feel like this is this is the place for me at the minute. And you had championship clubs interested in you as well. Is it, is, when you look at the, the development here at the football club, is that part of a promotion push? Is something you wanted to be involved with? Yeah, it's a big part. Um, obviously, being and challenging at the top of League One is is um, it's going to be a good challenge for me. Um, something that I'm looking forward to. And um, and yeah, just just the thought of coming here and, and playing and, and uh, getting better as a player. And do you think um, it's, it's the right club for you at this stage of your career in terms of the next chapter? Because you played a lot of games for someone so young, um, but sometimes players can make a leap too far for them at that moment of their career is this the right time and the right level for you to be at I think so yeah obviously spoke about everything and um, this is the right right time for me to obviously step up I've been league two the last couple of years um, I've been lucky enough to give in this opportunity so um, yeah just looking forward to playing in league one and, and testing myself and, and getting better of course, when you leave a club, there's always going to be a sad moment. A sad moment looking back at what you've achieved at Colchester, and you left a lot of good friends behind as well. I'm sure you're um, grateful for what they've done for you as a as a player. Yeah, I can't thank them enough. Obviously, I've been there since I was 16. Um, had some good relationships there, and and with managers and and coaches and everyone at the club. Can't thank them enough. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, obviously weird to be leaving because I've been there for so long. But yeah, just looking forward to this new challenge. And you didn't want it dragging on into pre-season. Obviously, lads are back on Monday. Important that you can get everything sorted and come in on Monday when everyone else does. Yeah, exactly. And um, meet the lads and, and start the season and pre-season fresh with everyone. Get to know them as well as possible and then um, and just go from there, yeah. In terms of the manager, is he play the style of football that you want to be playing as a centre-back? Someone who can obviously be comfortable with the ball at their feet and not be um, pressured into getting it forward so quickly? Yeah, that's and like I said, that's when I spoke to him on Wednesday. Um, he sort of emphasised how he wants me to play and how the team plays, and and uh, that's what I feel like I can do. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can just bring that to the team. And as a young player as well, the fact we've already signed Mark Beaver as an experienced centre half, that must fill you with confidence as well that you potentially could be playing with someone who has obviously got a lot of games under their belt. Yeah, definitely. It's something that. Um, obviously brought me here as well and that's what the gaffer said that I'll be able to learn a lot from him um, I played against him a couple of times but uh, but yeah he's a good player and hopefully have a good relationship with him and, and learn a lot of him yeah, people might see comparisons with someone like Ryan Bennett for instance who we signed from Grimsby who's obviously gone on to play Premier League similar to you in terms of style of play do, do, you, do you sort of look at the, a club in terms of what they've done for players previously as, as part of an attraction yeah of course of course obviously you know the no Peterborough always do get good good young players and, and develop them and then they go on to play higher but obviously I'd like to achieve that here with Peterborough to, to get promoted that's the aim this season um, but obviously yeah just to, to to get better as a player and, and develop is, uh, is, is a big factor Yes, but hitting the ground running on, on Monday nobody likes pre-season as a player I guess but you've got to get it under the belt exactly yeah it's got to be done um, looking forward to it uh, I know it's obviously going to be hard work but that's the same with every pre-season just to get Make sure you're fit and everything, but yeah, just looking forward to uh, to getting getting uh, getting here and, and seeing all the boys and then going from there.